So I would like to capture the lesson of the story. There are always bad people everywhere. Even in developed countries. So do not be too much comfortable and make yourself protected and your valuables as well. Hello mga kapromi! Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being with me today. If you are new here, my name is Roselle aka from the abroad and I am your Pinay expat here in the Netherlands. If you want to watch more videos about luxury items like bags, jewelries, home and experiences abroad, specifically now that we are here in the Netherlands, please consider supporting this channel by clicking the subscribe icon, like this content, and share it to your friends. I hope you are having a good time while you are watching this video. And let's not stress ourselves with so many things happening right now with regards to COVID. Just a little bit of background. Here in the Netherlands, we are right now on partial lockdown. And that is because we are right now having a surge of COVID infection. And that is more or less 20,000 uh, infected per day. So for those who are right now having much lower infection rate at your location, be thankful and savor the moment but still stay safe. For this content, I would like to share with you a true story. And that is about my e-bike was stolen here in the Netherlands. Yes, it's a true story. <laughs> and literally, I am still traumatized by the incident because of the recent turnarounds that I discovered to which I will also uh, share with you later on. But let me first describe to you my e-bike. E-bikes here in the Netherlands looks similar as the normal bike. The only difference is that it is with an engine and that engine with the battery of course you need to charge that will help to power the bike so that it can move on faster uh, if you are traveling far distances but still you need to pedal it is not the same as the e-bike that I have known popular in Asia that somehow resembles uh, a motorbike. <laughs> so, this is the picture of my Gazelle C8 Orange. I bought this e-bike in 2020. I have a few uh, trial videos actually biking around uh, Ede and Wageningen and that is the bike I used to mount my GoPro. So I am enjoying that bike and I even um, gave that bike a name. I called her Petra. I bought that bike for 2,600 euro and that means it's more than 100,000 pesos. So that bike have a double lock and not only the lock that it has mounted on near the wheels on the rear part. She has an aluminum body, big wheels, um, it has a soft, a gel-like saddle or a seat. It is also a middle engine uh, that 
with Bosch and Jane. I don't have major defect of this bike when it was stolen, but I have a marker on this because there was one situation that there are small branches that went through inside the cadena and actually it, it breaks the housing of the cadena and only that part is broken but you cannot see it because it is uh, not loose at all um, okay then the story on september 3 of this year a few months ago my husband and i at around 5 5 to 6 o'clock we went to a shop here in ad they have a specific placement or parking area for bikes but that parking area is actually very near the main road there is also a place to lock the bike double lock it such that it will be double protected i double locked the bike properly we went inside and then apparently there is a guy on the second floor who appears to want to talk to us longer and that guy is quite suspicious because we don't normally entertain talking to the strangers but he tried to tell us that he's indonesian although he doesn't look indonesian so it somehow prolonged by few minutes our shopping in the shop so it's time for us to pay because actually we only bought four pots for plants which are on sale and my husband goes out first of the shop with my son and i am queuing to pay for the pots my husband at outside looks a little bit uncomfortable so i am puzzled while i am looking at him from afar and after i finished paying i asked my husband why and he told me that he cannot see my bike and i was still it's like the whole world stopped revolving because i find it unbelievable so i went to see and truth be told, it is stolen. I immediately told to the cashier that my bike was stolen in their parking area. And the lady just called someone. And that someone, which is another employee, came, go out, and never talk to us. And that's it. They didn't help us to locate on the bike. And I asked them, they don't even have a CCTV camera to check. Really, to me, weird. We don't get the support from this shop to help us look for the bike. There is an intersection, maybe 30 steps away. You can see it. We saw police. So I run. I told him everything that I have already told you now. The feedback I got from him is that it is impossible to find your bike. And the second question he asked is, do I have insurance? And I was not very sure at the moment, so I just told him, maybe. And then I asked him, what should I do? Can we go to the police station to file the report? And he said, it is closed. And I need to do it online. Blessing in disguise that I brought my bus card with me. So my husband and my son went home with their bike and I am left with nothing but only the four pots with me plus my bus card. 
I think one of the blessing as well in that situation is I don't have any valuables on the bags that are attached to the bike. They are empty. Now, when it comes to protection, it's a good thing that when I went home and checked my documents for the bike, because it's fully documented, I have my insurance. So, hooray! I can get money back from my stolen bike. So, what I just did is to first write online a police report. Here in the Netherlands, we are given a citizen ID. We call DGID. And when we log in using that ID, we can go to many government agency website. Tax, police, um, the, um, the hospital records, um, my doctor's record, my son's consultati, uh, bureau or the healthcare department records they are all placed digitally there and I can access it just by using my one ID so I filed a police report and I can just easily produce it in a few minutes online I just need to print it it will ask you several questions like the frame number of your bike which is unique the the code uh, that is engraved on your key and uh, a few other descriptions of the bike plus the description of the incident that has happened when it was stolen i must also tell you that the system requires you to be honest because before you submit the form it is asking you to pledge that it is of 100% truthful. The following day, I went to the bike shop and they helped me uh, file the claim with the insurance. And they also sent my actual keys. After seven days, I get a confirmation from the insurance company that they can pay me some part of the cost of the bike. But it will never replace the love and my relationship with that bike. Because I bike with it during summer wherein it's very hot. And I also bike with it even it rains hard. So this is the twist and I tell you <laughs> you need to wait for this part two weeks ago a few moments a few minutes before the start of my son's second birthday I went to a shop in the city center to buy a candle a birthday candle because i cannot find it there's no stock in the nearby shop uh, the day before so i rush and go there while i'm parking my bike my heart beats so fast so fast that I I then felt so cold because I know the bike that is near me beside me is my stolen bike the one beside me is a gazelle C8 orange and when I looked at the cadena frame the house of the the case of the cadena it has exactly the same broken part it is very rare that two bikes will have the same issue i stand still beside it i waited for the owner 
In my phone, I looked for my police report. I found it. The lady came. So I politely approached her and said, Ma'am or Madam, can I ask you something? Is it okay? And she answered yes. I definitely struggle to find what is the right question. Because I also don't like to embarrass or harass her. I don't know what will be her reaction. So I just ask her, When did you buy your bike? Because my bike is exactly the same. It is stolen two months ago. And it has the same broken part as your bike. And she answered me back. I bought it a few months ago. So check mark. And I bought it from a reputable shop. I'm so shocked. And because I cannot think right, and I'm so puzzled and surprised, my hormones just shoot up somewhere, everywhere like fireworks. I don't know what to do next. And she politely said, I must go. And I still struggle how to contain her. I cannot call the police because I am not sure. But there's high chances that that's my bike. After a few minutes, my mind normalized. And then I realized I should have given her a copy of my police report so that she can check the frame number of her bike if it's the same as my police report and give her my contact number so she can also get back to me if she is open to help me. So, that's the story I would like to share with you about my beloved Petra. And thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you are safe there and always keep in mind, protect yourself, protect your belongings. There is no such place in the world which is 100% Bye mga kaprobdi! I hope you learned from this content. Maraming salamat!